Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to American McGee's Grim. This is episode two, Little Red Riding Hood. Let's hop in and play now. Here's a poser. How does Little Red Riding Hood, a disobedient child with eyesight poor as her judgment, escape mutilation from her confrontation with the most feared and hated creature of the forest? Hmm? She wouldn't, of course. But don't tell the brothers grip. The story begins with a standard mother-daughter conflict. Mother gives daughter detailed instructions and advice, which daughter immediately ignores. Is there a moral here? Little Red Riding Hood, take these cakes and bottle of wine to your grandmother. She's very ill and weak. Don't stray from the path or talk to anyone on the way. With pleasure, Mother. I'll do just as you say. The forest is home to many animals, and not all are fit for pets or food. What oh, delightful and cuddly creatures. I could eat them all up. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed this beautiful day? To visit my grandma, sir, under the three big oak trees. An excellent destination, my dear. Enjoy your journey. Take your time. What a happy thought. I'll collect a butterfly or two and some flowers. Granny will be grateful. What a credulous ninny. The wolf's already selected Granny for his entree. While she dawdles, he's on his way to the Three Oaks. Granny loves flowers. I'll pick a few. She won't even notice if I'm a bit late. Having previously demonstrated the acuity, if not the temperament of a rock, no one should be surprised that Red Riding Hood is outmaneuvered by the wolf when she arrives at a Granny's. Come in, little... <coughs> Come in, little Red Riding Hood. And bring the cake and wine. However, did she know what I brought? She sounds as though she's very ill. My granny, I never noticed how big your mouth is. And your grooming. You look nearly wild. Appearances are deceiving, my dear. <clears throat> Sometimes. A cries for mercy were in vain, of course. Mercy was not in the wolf's nature. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood joined her granny in the dark. I've heard of a room for two, but this verges on the incredible. All wolves and pythons have more in common than I imagined. Granny, I wonder where you'd got to. I brought cakes and wine. There was a wolf in your bed. What is that smell? Unless I very much miss my guess, my dear, we're in the belly of the beast. Surely not. It stinks worse than our privy. But it's a bit cleaner. That looks like Mrs. Schmidt's arm. Very distinctive tattoo. In perhaps the most far-fetched rescue ever, a lumberjack with an expert sense of lupine anatomy passes by. This worthy naturalist, noting the wolf's belly is dangerously distended, relieves the creature's distress with his scalpel-sharp axe and simultaneously saves both women from the wolf's digestive juices. <laughs> Well, isn't that amazing? What were you two up to in there, anyway? Very little. It was quite dark. My ears hurt. The wolf gobbled us up. You can't blame a creature for being hungry. I sewed him up and let him go. I'm sure he's learned a lesson. <laughs> really? What do you think of that, Grandma? We'll eat the cakes and drink the wine. After I take a hot bath. The wolf learned a lesson, all right. They've all got rocks in their heads. What a crock. I mean, what kind of parent sends a child into the woods alone? What child mistakes a savage wolf for her beloved grandma? And nobody dies? If you'd like to add a bit of flavor and spice to this tasteless, if happy meal, play on. <laughs> Boy, would I ever. Once there was a way to get back home again. But not anymore. A simple stroll in the woods can be a walk on the wild side. Tell me that's not a good thing. I'll say you're wrong. <laughs> Mother sends Little Red Riding Hood to tend her aged granny and implores the child not to dawdle along the way. Isn't that precious? 
I hate it. Let's fix it. I definitely agree with you, Grim. Make it stinky. It shall be done. Let's oh, move! The kid just ignored him. <laughs> All right. Stop it. I am making things smell as Grim's smell it. Now. Oh, I broke shit. Oh no, the filthy man is Filthy man never left, dude. You can blow shit up in this one. Nice. Oh, the filthy man is Stop it! You have to make it foul. Got it. That bird was attacking the child. Like that. That is awesome. Okay, I think we've got them all. They're not going to be cleaning up this mess anytime soon. So dumb. Drop it, stop it, butt kick it, girl. Oh yeah, we're off to see Granny. If we're lucky, she'll expire before we get there. <laughs> Minute 43, that's not bad. I didn't get any secrets, though. Oh, there's Make water. it gruse. Shall we? Let's move! Hell yeah. You filthy road grins. Smell it! Ow! Filthy rodent. Get out of here. Yay! Stinky. Oh, I gotta make it gross. Never mind. Bitches. Grim's gross. Yes, Ow. I am. Stomp it! Get in there. Now, do I turn? Yep, I'm turning you idiots. Get out of there. Oh, what is that? Huh, I don't know, but... I am taking care of you guys. None of this cleanliness is coming around in my forest. That's better. Entirely filthy. Oh no! We should be friends. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> All right, get back up here. Yeah, back up here. There we go. Red encounters a wolf in the deep, dark woods. No wonder she's not afraid. I have cats that look meaner and more dangerous. <laughs> Make it nasty. Those are some pretty blue eyes. Nice. Roast this place up a bit. Rotten. Yes, 
you are. That thing sounds pretty bad. Let's get these damn deer. Curse you, deer. No more. Now I'm That's nasty. Right. Don't delay, but stomp away! I won't delay. You just gotta let me do it. Well, maybe I'll delay a little bit. But just a little bit. <laughs> now! Get out Disgusting! Repulsive, even. See, now he looks good. He looks like a proper monster should. Uh, there's a problem with you, dude. Pull yourself together. Don't be good! <laughs> That's <laughs> my kind of weapon. That's a funny weapon. Don't stomp on Grim. <laughs> I got one secret. It wasn't really much of a secret. <laughs> The wolf races to grandma's while little Red Riding Hood, the thoughtless twit, picks flowers. <laughs> I'd like to see Granny get that chomp, and Red deserves some grief for her behavior. <laughs> I totally agree. Make it foul. I shall. Let's move! Is the bunny gonna help? Please tell me the bunny's gonna help. The bunny's not gonna help, is it? Well, that's unfortunate. I really would like the bunny to help. This is such a large area. Alright. Good enough. Yeah. Oh, you lost an eye, dude. Now! Haha! <laughs> Stop cleaning. No cleaning allowed. Make this place into a gross chair. Cleaning. I need to destroy the world. Gross. Oh, Made you kids skeletons. Does that get y'all? Nice. <laughs> Run. Run. <laughs> no more nice. No more cute. But stop it! The only flowers that don't Much make nicer. me nauseous are dead ones. Nice. Little Red Riding Hood arrives at Grandmother's house in the- The ninny makes it to Granny's, but is she in time? Oh, I certainly hope not. Make it gross. It shall be done. Let's nice. move! Got the, uh, whole skeleton family. Uh, these cats. Grim's smelly now. Yep. Let's just get all this. Get as much as I can. So 
the butt stomp is the most efficient way. Now, get I'm grody. stinky. Except I gotta watch those stupid cats. Stop it. Really? Already? Huh. Buster. Oh. What are you guys? You're like garden gnomes. Oh, you guys make it like as I clean up. But stop it! Oh, I hurt the whole thing. Something's amiss, but not nearly amiss enough for me. Cease the charade, wolf! Make it disgusting! Okay, so now I actually have to go about this. I get it. Oh, those guys are quick little bastards. Oh my. Limbs rotten now. Oh dear. These guys are making things difficult. Butt stomp away. Oh, those little bastards. Oh, can you not convert them? Well, that sucks. Alright, let's see if we can get up to like the pulse. So close. Man, where are those little turds? Oh, good. Grim's repulsive. Yes. Ow. Converted these little gnomes. I think I still have at least one more. Got you. Good enough. You guys aren't gonna bring it down anytime soon. Rumpin' stop! Gotcha. There we go. Oh, nice. Whee! <laughs> Grim kinda got stuck there. Let's move! Nice. So no, no, like, story or anything for this, just let's move. There we go. The belly of the beast. Ugh, even this dismal stinkhole needs some refurbishing. Stop enjoying the digestive juices. <laughs> Make it smelly. I think it already is smelly. <laughs> Peeing in his digestive juices. Uh, I'm stuck. Damn it, water. I had no choice. All right. Damn. Rump and stump! Really? I already got it smelly? 
Oh, oh, he just barely missed Grim. Hello. Make it gross. Okay. I shall make it gross. And apparently, it's not really water now, is it? Should be digestive juice. This one's not as good. Now, nice, very attractive. I love the tongue. Oh, this one. Oh, hi, chomping stump. Chomping stump. How am I supposed to butt stomp up there? <laughs> hmm. okay. Oh, oh dear. Well, his pancreas is gone. Whee! So now I gotta get over there. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Uh, I don't think I want to try to jump on that stuff. Oh my. Oh my. Ignominious defeat! Dang it. Lord dang it of the dang it. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting on that. There's gotta be another way around. Oh! How about right there? I'm a nub. Pee on your face. So much wisdom. <laughs> I don't know what don't that was. Bother. Here comes the pesky woodsman to rescue the Indians from their demise. Come on, friend. Let them digest a little longer, eh? Make it rotten. Oh. We're just ramping this up. Close to being rotten as it is. Watery grave, the worst kind. Wasn't expecting that. Go. And. <laughs> Grim secret found. <laughs> Wasn't a very good secret. Watering grave, the Bloody worst hell. kind. Liquid have drowned my sorrows, but <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh man, I'm doing horrible. Go down. Go down while I pee on you. Now come up. There we go. And so close to rot. Nice. <laughs> Axe right through the side. You know, for a guy who is being axed, you would think he'd be more active. No, that was a kidney, I think. No, he's falling apart. Surgeon simulator, right here. No! 
Ow's nasty. Oh. Don't delay, but stop away! Cool. I missed. Water. Don't be good! Great waste by water! I jumped over it. Don't delay, but stomp away! There we go. And there's his... I guess his heart. Wolf's anatomies are a little bit weird. Everything's in their stomach. That took a little longer than... Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma are rescued by a woodsman. Ah, everything good has to end. I'd hoped they'd melt away in there. As it is, <laughs> the woodsman has salvaged their worthless hides. Now they'll want revenge. Well, let's make sure it's painful. Make it oh, foul. It's a whole bunch of woodsmen. Do it now! It shall be done. <laughs> Smelly! Yes, you are. Hey, squirrel. Get over here. Jackass. It shall not be. Now I'm stinky. Yeah, you are. You are one stinky FOMO. Still can't convert them. Oop. Don't jump in the water. So close. So close to foul. There we go. Got foul. Rumpin' stump! I need to take care of these damn squirrels. There we go, that's better. Finally, the wolf gets the shaft. <laughs> Not really fair, is it? The beast is only doing what came naturally, but if he's going to die, let's make sure it's gruesome. Oh, yeah. Make it disgusting. Okay. Disgusting. <laughs> Need to get to rotten. Before I cross over now the I'm wolf. <laughs> Bastards that are cleaning shit up. That's right. There will be no cleanliness here. Alright. So I think we've pretty much gotten everything here. Yep, it's looking pretty nasty. Whee! Oh yeah. All I needed was nasty to get there. Huh? Nice. I like that. Wolf on a pike. So close to gross. So close. Or not gross. Disgusting. Now we're at disgusting. Stomp it! Oh, I will. Oh, look at you. You look great. You're one sexy bitch. Rump and stomp! Oh, we're cooking them. Dust. Ashes to ashes. Cook to his final reward, the old wolf, Tashes. Barbecue. Ah, <laughs> that really showed them. <laughs> oh, I love Grim. Now that we've made these tasty revisions, the story bears a passing resemblance to a decent tale. 
I mean, when a big bad wolf meets a young girl alone in the woods, what are the chances that she would escape their meeting without violence? No, no. There's no happily ever after here. Someone or something had to die. Changes had to be made, you see. No choice, really. Red, you lazy slut. Go see if the old bag's ready for the worms. If she's still kicking, steal some eggs or a piece of cheese. Don't dally! I'm starving. Come closer, my pretty doll. Small birds make tasty treats. This one has a metallic aftertaste. You wouldn't like it. I'll see you again. <laughs> Not if I see you first, and my granny has a gun! Ah, oh, going to granny's, are we? Well, I'll make sure to avoid that repulsive hole. Granny demands flowers, improves the smell of her place. She never asks where or how I get them. Oh, I'm nearly ill. I ate so much. Oh, granny wasn't even that good. But there's always room for dessert. <laughs> Granny, you look terrible, if you don't mind me saying. But I'm pretty on the inside. <laughs> Granny, do you have your toad stabber? It's still in my apron, damn it, blood. We could have slit his gut and rolled our sorry butts out of here. What about the back door? Do you have any matches? That gas leak looks promising. Smell good, too. Alas, I've got nothing but my birthday suit. The wolf, inebriated and helpless from his recent meal, was set upon by a half-crazed bounty hunter who had been tracking him for weeks. Only by chance did Granny and Red Riding Hood escape the blade of his fearsome axe. They tumbled out of his belly, stinking, but allegedly no worse for wind. <laughs> Granny, the woods are nasty and wild. You should move to the village. I'd have to see your mother too often. No, thank you. And the woods are safer now. But there are still big bad wolves, and maybe you won't be so lucky next time. Worst things have happened. You might miss me. Nobody else would. Now I'll die another day. <laughs> They might have survived. I doubt it. In the French version, Perrault says they both got gobbled up and digested. It warms the heart and other parts when all the creatures in a tale get what they deserve. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs> okay, that one was good. I liked that one. And as Grimm said, until next time, thank you all for watching. Take care.